Danielle. I'm the magical storyteller, and we have Deborah Lee. She's going to act out one of the characters in the story. So it all started a long, long time ago. A long time ago, all the animals were hiding from the sun because the sun was so hot. And they cried out, oh my, it's hot, hot, hot. Oh my, it's hot, hot, hot. Oh my, it's hot, hot, hot. And the sun was just beating down on them. So they went to the tall trees and the tall grass and the cool water. Everybody hid except for the monkey. Now the monkey sat out in the hot sun looking up in the sky. And then he saw. He saw the buzzard come down. And the buzzard came down with his big old wings. And the buzzard flew around. And he came closer and closer and closer to the ground. And then the buzzard. He went over to the squirrel. And he said to the squirrel, <laughs> Hey squirrel, how you doing today? The squirrel said, I'm so hot. He said, I can take you for a ride. Just get on my back. So the squirrel got on the buzzer's back. And the buzzer flew with the squirrel on the back. They, they flew high. They flew low. They flew round and round and close to the ground. They flew high. They flew low. They flew round and round and close to the ground. Then the buzzer said, Why you like it up here? And that little squirrel say, I love it. It's nice and cool. But the buzzer, <laughs> he had other things in mind. So he started flying fast, 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 and threw that little squirrel off of his back. And that squirrel went flying in the air and flew hit the ground. Well, the buzzer said, well, I guess I have to eat it. Nobody saw it except for the monkey. The other animals, they were just busy making fun of that monkey. Talk about how crazy he was to be sitting in that hot sun. Look at that monkey <laughs> sitting in the hot sun. He crazy. Well, the next day the buzzer came back. The animals were still saying how hot it was. They were hiding in the tall trees, tall grass, and the cool water. And the buzzer came back. The buzzer flew high, flew low. Flew round and round and close to the ground. Flew high, flew low. Flew round, round and round and, round and close, close to, to the, the ground. ground. And the buzzer went over to Rabbit. <laughs> and said, how you doing today, Rabbit? Rabbit said, oh my, it's so hot. And she said, don't worry about a thing. I can take you for a ride. So he got on the buzzer's back. And they flew. They flew high. They flew low. They flew round and round and round. Right. And she says, hey, 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 how you like it up here, Rabbit? Rabbit says, oh, I've never been high before. This is nice. But we know what happened, right? She flew fast, 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 fast. She flew fast, fast. And threw him off, and he screamed and hit the ground. So she says, well, I guess I have to eat it. <laughs> and that's what happened. Nobody saw it except for the monkey. Well, the next day, the buzzer flew over to the monkey. Monkey was sitting out in the hot sun looking up in the sky. And the buzzer came back. The buzzer flew high and low and round and round and close to the ground. Flew high okay. round and round and round and close to the ground. So she goes over. She goes over to the monkey and says, how you doing today? Monkey said, get away from me. I'm your friend. I can take you for a ride. It's cool up there. And he says, it's cool. And she said, yes. He said, you are very nice. But she said, get on my back. It won't cost you a thing. And he did. They flew high. They flew low. They flew round and round and close to the ground. And she went to throw him off her, her back. But the monkey put his tail around that buzzer's neck and started choking him. And said, straighten up and fly right. <laughs> and she said, you tricked me. He said, yes, I was paying attention. I saw 
tell what you did to my friends. Go away and don't come back. And no one ever saw that buzzard again. He flew all away from here. And that's why when you look up in the sky, you don't see any buzzards up there. And that's the end. Well, the lion, the lion, this particular lion was me. And every morning, this particular lion, he would wake up and he would roar. I am king of the jungle. Hear me roar. I am king of the jungle. Hear me roar. Well, he was scaring everybody. And then one day he says, today, I, 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 I see two little rabbits I'm going to eat today. And the bird said, oh no. So the bird went and told the rabbit. Rabbit was scared and worried. So rabbit came up with a plan. Rabbit says, you know what? I'm going to go to that lion. I'm going to look the lion in his eyes and say, you want to eat me? Eat me. Everybody thought that was a crazy idea, but they didn't say anything. So rabbit goes to see the lion. He's thinking, rabbit, he's very brave and confident. Boy. He saw that lion. He heard that lion roar. Can you give me a roar like a lion? roar like a lion. Roar. I am king of the jungle. Hear me roar. Hear me. I am king of the jungle. Hear me roar. Rabbit was scared when he saw that lion. So he used up all his courage and he says, lion, I heard you want to eat me. I am going to have you for my dinner, you little rabbits. Well, the rabbits, they didn't know what to do, so they laughed. Can you laugh? Can you laugh? They laugh and laugh. They said, we're too skinny to eat. He said, hmm, skinny, huh? I'm going to give you three weeks to get fat. You have to come back so I can eat you. So the little rabbits went home to go get fat. One week went by. Rabbit was the same old size. Then two weeks went by. Rabbit was getting smaller. Then three weeks went by. It was time for Rabbit to go see the lion so he could get eaten. So he waved goodbye to all his friends and then he went back to go see that lion. But this time, he was scared that he was singing, Oh, dear me, what am I going to do? Oh, dear me, what am I going to do? And then Rabbit thought of an idea. Those two little rabbits, those two little rabbits, those two little rabbits, they thought of an idea. And they took off running. I'm going to continue running. Let me see you run. You can continue running. And they ran. And they ran up to the lion. You have to come up to me. Come up to me. And they say, lion, we saw another lion that's bigger than you. Can you make bigger? Can you make bigger? Lion says, bigger than me? They said, yes. Yes? Yes. Big like that. Lion says, show me. So those little rabbits. They say, follow me. I'm going to follow you. Follow me. And they let that lion, oh, they let that lion around and around and up a big old tall hill. And when they got to the top of that hill, we don't go big. They ran and ran up and 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 up this hill. Come here, come here. And up and up the hill right here, right here. Right here. And up, don't worry about right here. And they said, look down there. And when Lion looked down that hill, he saw another lion, much bigger than he. And he says, Oh young king of the jungle. The other lion roared back, I am the king. And then he says, Wait here, rabbits. I'll be back to eat you two. Don't you leave. And he jumped down that hill to go beat up that other lion. But when he reached the bottom of that hill, he realized those two little rabbits tricked him because he fell in a lake. He only saw his own reflection in the water. And lions are not swimmers. That lion went down with the current and down with the current. The rabbits waved to the lion and said, you might be the king, but I'm the smartest. 